Hi everybody, it's Miss Kim. And Miss Laura. And Newt. And Chewy. Chewy. And you can see Sprocket right there, leaving the frame. Oh, she's just going to sit there. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she jumped. She that jumped onto jump. something else. <laughs> that was a big jump. You probably heard it in the background, actually. <laughs> yeah, nothing broke. It's okay. <laughs> she's jumped farther. Yes, yeah, so we are just hanging out here, trying to keep warm. It's, it's officially cold season time. Eh, it's not bad. What? I got my good sweatshirt on. We're fine. Your good sweatshirt? One of my many. <laughs> yes, you do have a very uh, large collection of sweaters. I make the best segues. Sweaters. Uh, well, it's it's coat, but it's close. She calls coats sweaters and sweatshirts all sweaters. I, I actually I do do that. And jackets. They're all jackets. I don't know. They're all things to put the on. The boys are wearing their jackets. Look. Newt's got a blue one, which now you can't see them. And yes, I know. Chewie's got a red one. Which is really awesome because the book I read is called Ruffles and the Red Red Coat. Well, look at that. And it's all about Ruffles who won't wear his new red coat until oh. he meets a friend who has a blue coat on, and but he can't go outside until he puts his red coat on. I won't tell you the ending, but Spoilers. it's pretty much Newt and Chewy. Yeah, so it's pretty yeah. good. But that's oh. Ruffles and the Red Red Coat. Okay, that sounds really cute. It was. Yeah, I like Ruffles. I uh, read um, Snowy Roly. This is Roly Poly Oly, who I love. Um, used Goodbye, to have a, a cartoon many, many years ago when my nieces were very little. I loved Roly Poly Oly. I thought I've it was never watched. I so never they're watched. a bunch, they're robots. So it's, it's really cute. So uh, this is Snowy Roly. Roly lives on a planet or a land that doesn't have snow. Until, I love the animals. Yeah. Until one day the sun has a light bulb burn out. It's happened. Well. Not really. But there is also a <laughs> Shel Silverstein um, poem about someone invented a light that plugged into the sun, but the cord wasn't long enough. Oh. Or so, same thing. Yeah. yeah that oh, would that sounds me. cute. Oh. I, I don't think I've read that one. There's Sprocket. And, and more Newton. <laughs> we love him. He just what walks through do? everything. Yes. They, they just love being by us, which is yeah. why they're in the videos all the time. Oh, bless you, Newt. Yeah, Newt sneeze. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoy the videos. Sit down. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I know. Hi. I know. Ruffles and the Red Red Coat by David Melling. This is Ruffles. Ruffles loves howling and scratching and eating, fetching and sniffing and chewing, digging, running, and sleeping. But Ruffles does not love his new red coat. Not one teeny tiny little bit. No, 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 no. Ruffles should wear his coat when it is cold and wet. Today it is cold and wet and the rain is making puddles. Ruffles loves puddles. So Ruffles sniffs and pats and licks and splishes and splashes and sloshes and jumps and jumps and jumps without his coat. This is Ruffles' friend, Ruby. Ruby's wearing her new blue coat. They sniff and pat and lick and splish and splash and splosh and jump and jump and jump until big dogs come. The puddle is all splashed away and Ruffles is wet and cold and mad. But Ruby shakes and wags her tail. She still wants to play. Ruffles doesn't. No, 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 no. Now Ruby is sad, so she goes away. And Ruffles is all alone. But then Ruby comes back with Ruffles' red coat. It takes a really long time, and he has to do lots and lots and lots of wriggling until at last his coat is on. And look, another puddle. Maybe the red coat is not so bad after all. Ruffles loves sniffing and patting and licking and splishing and splashing and splashing and jumping in puddles. But most of all, Ru Ruffles loves Ruby. The end. Ruffles and his red, red coat. Snowy Roly by William Joyce. Roly-poly-oly lived in a land where it never snowed. 
he often wished for the wonders of a snowy day could bring. Then one bright morning, the sun that shone on Oli's world blew a bulb and it started to snow. As the world grew white all around, Oli and Zoe began to build a friend. Named Mr. Snowy. Oh, what fun it was to ride with Snowy on their sleigh. But the sun got a brand new bulb, so the world became warm and the snow became melty. What to do, what to do. They had a friend they couldn't keep cool. So they took a worthy risk and rocketed to Chillsville with the AC on full blast. The snow-capped mountains showed them the way. But the north wind tried to eat them up and down they crashed. to a place they'd heard of only in stories. Welcome to Chillsville, said Clanky Claws. You must be hungry from your travels. They feasted on snowdrop soup, icicle cake, and sky-high snowball pie. And after that, they danced a chili cha-cha. all the way to Mr. Snowy's cool new house. We'll miss you, Mr. Snowy, said Zoe, but you'll be safe from now on, said Oli. It was oh so hard to say goodbye. We wished for snow and we got a new friend, said Oli. I wish we could stay together, sighed Zoe, as they rocketed away. The journey home was swift and sure. Soon sleep came and snowy dreams helped smiles return. By morning, the snow was almost gone and where Snowy once stood, there was a present. A happy reminder of their faraway friend. Happy, sad, and everything in between, what wonders a single snowy day can bring. The end.